so we just got back from a camping trip and I have to say that staying in a camper is a lot better than staying in a tent. But this one is a 1991 Coleman and as I'm going to tell you in this video, I have 10 repairs that we need to do on this camper before we can go on our next trip. It's just gotten to the point where we have to do something. So leave in the comments below if you think we should spend the money to, I don't know, renovate this gal again or should we just sell it? I don't know, scrap it for parts? Makes me sad to even think about, but let me know what you think. All right, I'm gonna start on the exterior and I'm gonna show you five things of the exterior that we need to fix before we go on our next camping trip. So the first one is this door. And um, two camping trips ago when we were in Michigan, I forgot the key to our camper, so we traveled, shoot, I don't even know how many hours, like 8, 10, something like that, pulled into our campsite ready to set up camp and start dinner, and I had no key. So Keith luckily brought his tools, and it was up in the Upper Peninsula during the off season, so it's not like there was a locksmith close by. So we decided to cut the lock. So now, before we can even, so we pack up the camper, and before we can bring the top down, this won't even lock anymore because of the side latches are broken. They just need to be completely replaced. I think I found it on eBay for maybe $40, but now I gotta figure out how to take all these rivets out and to put the new lock in, and that's kind of out of my scope a little bit, more research I need to do. Um, but that's the number one thing and I have to say traveling down the road I do get nervous on whether this door is going to fall down or not So we have to make sure that the top is completely smushed down as much as possible Ugh. I know I've talked about this in the past with my other 10 mistakes video about our crank being broken and I know now if we ever own a pop-up camper, I'm going to foolproof it somehow to where we don't break the cable. And we broke the cable, shoot, I mean right after we got the camper. I mean it was pretty quick. So it's been a problem ever since we've had it. Uh, but basically when you crank too high or too low or anything like that, the cable will snap. So. Last camping trip, sure enough, we pull in and the little screw that my husband had put into the hole to keep the crank going fell out. So he had to crawl under there, fix the hole with the screw and everything so we could get cranking again and pop the camper up. It's just really inconvenient and I think he said, I haven't been under the camper, I'm going to be honest about that, but he said there was like something lodged in the hole so he couldn't get the peg all the way through to make it a permanent solution so he just needs to spend more time on it um i don't really think that's going to cost us a lot of money just a whole lot of time and i don't know if we want to put that kind of time into it all right i have to say that i am pretty proud with how long i've been able to get this canvas to last so when we got it, the zipper was completely broken and I stitched it together and it has held up very, very nicely. But this problem, I don't think I can solve. Back on our bed, there are so many holes that, I mean, the fabric is just so weak and dry rotted that even if I were to try to sew it there's just no way the stitches stitching would hold I mean I would have to do like some major major patchwork so a new canvas I priced that out it's gonna be like a thousand dollars I don't know that it's worth it for 1991 Coleman what do you guys think oh don't mind us just driving down the road looking like hillbillies <laughs> with our door gone so this is a, our water heater and the door that goes on it fell off um, I'm pretty sure before we even left town we were on our way to Florida and sure enough when we pulled into our site I was like we're missing our door and so um, this just kind of adds to the character I think but if we were to get a door honestly I think I could probably get that off 
I don't know, marketplace or secondhand somewhere and pretty inexpensively, it's just a little metal door. Um, honestly, do we need to have it replaced? No, it would just make me feel better going down the road looking a little nicer. Oh, and what's this cord you're asking? <laughs> just adding to the hillbilly look as we're driving down the road. It actually straps on to our stabilizing jack down below. So the stabilizing jacks, the other three, they're not horrible, they're old, um, and it does make it kind of difficult to level out, but this one will not snap up into place. So when we're driving down the road, it falls down. So we have to have this nice little bungee strap to keep it held up. <laughs> Again, do we need to get that replaced? No, but it would just, look a lot nicer and probably be a little bit safer going down the road. All right, another repair that we don't have to make, but boy, it would make our lives so much easier if we did. Um, this is the king size bed. And if you remember in my last video, my 10 mistakes, uh, when we were in Florida, Trevor didn't realize that we didn't have the stabilizers down and was on the bed trying to put the pole in place to hold the canvas up and everything and the bed came crashing down. Super stressful moment, but we made it through. Um, Keith actually had some straps, so we just strapped the bed in place to where it's square to the camper. Now the rails that accidentally got broken will keep the bed in place square to the camper until you can get the stabilizers down, which is under the bed. So now when we set up the camper, especially our side of the bed, or our side of the camper with the bed, uh, it, it's a whole family event. So Trevor and I are holding a super heavy bed and Keith is trying to get the straps on while the girls are getting the stabilizers. You have to do all of that together and hope and pray that we got it square to the camper because one time when we were camping, I think it was over Labor Day weekend, um, maybe about a year ago, we thought we had it good. And in the middle of the night, like, I don't know if I shifted weird, Keith shifted weird, but the bed came crashing down. And it was actually kind of adorable to see the girls love me as much as they do. Because they woke up and they came running over, Mommy, Mommy, are you okay? And didn't even ask Keith or anything. They were helping me up and all this. And honestly, we were both fine, but I don't know. I felt loved. <laughs> okay, on our last camping trip, there was one morning where... I was still in bed. Keith had just gotten up to go to the bathroom and he scared me to death. I, I thought the camper was coming down, but no, it was just one more thing that was wrong with our camper. So this door right here, when he left, he opened it and it slammed shut. This whole thing came crashing down. It made such a loud noise. It woke us all up. We were so alarmed, but anyway, What's wrong with it? It's just a pin. We just need to get a pin on this door. Um, it's just one more thing we gotta do. I imagine that's not very expensive at all, but it's just one more thing we gotta do. Okay, quick side note. A lot of you guys have been asking about my hooks right here from my last video, and man, those have been sticking and I have had zero issue with them. They have stayed in place and held everything for me. So I can really count on these hooks, at least not breaking. I think this is probably the one thing that makes me most sad. Our kitchen has completely rotted and I had so much pride in renovating our camper and the look of our kitchen and with the green and the knobs and our curtains. I just loved it all. Well, it just rotted away. This hinge is not even attached. So in order for our camper to come down, we have to move this top cabinet. It's on a, where it's supposed to be on a hinge and you just fold it down to where I'm sitting and it lays flat. So it is so heavy and so inconvenient um, so we would need to get a new board, a new hinge, and a new top because the top is broken as well. So I'm super, super bummed and um, the paint is all boogered up now and it, is it really worth it? 
I don't know. Sometimes when I look at this, I'm like, maybe I should just scrap the pieces of the camper and I don't know, start over again with our Globe Star, the other camper we're renovating right now. So we don't do a whole lot of winter camping. Uh, mainly it is through the summer, um, but some of our most favorite camping times is spring and fall, particularly fall. Um, but anyway, in order to have a comfortable camping trip, we need to get our thermostat fixed. So either we can have it on super hot scorching heat where it never turns off, or we can have it completely off. And um, this is a very dated thermostat, so we definitely need to get it repaired. And I have no idea how much that's gonna cost, but I imagine it would be pretty expensive. So the plumbing has never worked since we got the camper, but so we don't really know what it's like to have water in a camper, but having a sink and having a tub, how convenient it would be just to brush your teeth at night before you go to bed and not have to run to the bathroom, um, or washing dishes, things like that. It would just be so much easier. Um, so not that we have to get the plumbing fixed, but boy, it sure would make camping a lot more enjoyable if we could just get the plumbing fixed, but I, we've already had it priced out and we would have to have all the pipes re-ran and it, it, it was just going to be way too expensive. And that was with one of our friends being a plumber doing the work. So shoot, you know, it, I, I really am not sure what to do with our camper. I am so in love with the hard work we put into it, but it is just crumbling from beneath us and it just comes to the point of do we want to pour more money into it and enjoy camping or do we just scrap it sell it you know sell it for parts whatever um i don't know what's worth it um we're kind of leaning towards selling it and just basically pouring all of our energy and everything into our new camper that we're renovating right now it's a globe star I love that camper a lot, but I feel like we are so far away from enjoying camping again. Um, so that's why I'm just so stuck between do we do the repairs, do we not, so we can continue camping. Um, we do have a tent, so we could resort back to a tent, but like I said at the beginning of the video, nothing compares to being in a camper and having everybody together, so I don't know we need to really reevaluate. So please comment below and let me know what you think we should do. Should we make all these repairs? Oh, and also tell me how much you think it would cost to do all these repairs. I would like to know that. Um, so thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe. It's totally free and like the video. Thanks for watching guys. supporting this as much as we are back here. 